and the and the jump drives never got shot off. I don't think once. No, yeah, they got damaged. You know, I never lost them though. All right, yes, yeah, bear is coming to bless the ship. Oh, I need to build a camera. I forgot about that. Yes. Hold on, bear. I need to get out there. As we can see, the local native bears come out to bless the attack. What is this? The attack beaver? Yes. The attack beaver, before it goes off on its quest to bring back valuable and crucial resources for the, <laughs> for the, for the tribal village of space engineers. <laughs> Wilhelm, how could we lose after this, dude? Well, we got the three-man wonder team here, and Bear's blessing the shit out of the front, so the we're fine. Blessing the shit out of it, dude. This is how dedicated he's gonna kill himself on our ship as a blessing. A sacrifice. Yes! As you can see, he's... Oh. Oh! He's <laughs> no! <laughs> Blessed himself, according to the ancient, ancient mythical African tradition. The mother clang is taking him. As you can, uh, yes, mother clang <laughs> is slowly taking his body into the void. <laughs> that is. Oh no! He's. He scared me, bear. Heresy! There's two bears. Quick, Her get the guts. Witchcraft. <laughs> All right, we we ready to go. Let's do this. Let's do this. I do like being able to know where how to get into the ship. <laughs> I'm gonna grab one last full handful. I'm gonna fill my pockets with some missile containers. So Bear is working on a really impressive build here. He always goes so big in the beginning. I always see like just these giant, freaking huge white frames. Just peeking out of the horizon, and it's usually one of bear ships. So, oh my god! <laughs> He's really, really gotta hit it. Hit! Oh, hit! I, I sacrifice my life! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! For the re rebellion, what are we doing? It's the rebellion. There is a decent amount of people on the server right now. 13 peoples. Burn a shit ton of hydro again. There we go. There we go. Deactivate hydros? Yes. We're activating the jump drives. We should be about... About 20k-ish. <laughs> Give or take 20k. Oh shit, we're right next to it. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> what the fuck? No, no! I, I specifically said it to, to be a 90k. Let me see. Let me see. Oh Alright, bear is disconnected. Mine are disconnected. Beautiful. We should maintain cruising speed of probably 30 meters a second. Make it for Turn off the hydro tube. Until we need it. Bear, is that you flying outside of your ship? Oh shit, go back to Bear, he's being attacked. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh my oh, god. Shit. Bear has been... Bear has been fucked. Alright, how's everybody doing? This is Luke the Duke, and my friends, we are once again playing some online public survival on one of the greatest servers that has ever been. This is Fountain Core. Alright, so quickly, I just want to explain what Thorium is. So I'm going to reference this a bunch of times in this video, but I never really go into detail about what exactly it is. So Thorium is a mod that is on this server that adds in a very unique resource that can only be found on one asteroid 
in the entire game. So what this does is it adds in kind of a vocal point for pretty much like a center point of interest on the server. So as you can imagine in vanilla servers, you know, you, you can wander around for weeks if not months without even seeing a single glimpse of another player. This adds in kind of like a battleground type situation where everybody knows where this asteroid is in order to build all of these higher level end game components that we'll go into further detail in the future. Um, you need thorium or you need process thorium ignits in order to build all these special parts. So just basically know that it's a resource that everybody wants on the server and everybody knows where this asteroid is. So whenever I mention going to thorium, just know that it is pretty much going to be a battle. It's not guaranteed a battle, but generally when there's enough people on the server, at least one person is either wanting to try out their new ship or they're trying to mine the asteroid to actually get to thorium. Ah, fuck you. Don't do me like this. Alright, everybody. So we are building a ship in survival. It's, you know, it's it's coming along, you guys. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be a pretty impressive vessel, I'm thinking. Looking pretty crazy right now, so it's like half a blueprint. Am I still being injured? I need a little health. So yeah, I'm slowly working on this thing. Um, I'm pretty much just absorbing all of Bear's resources at the moment. So I'm going to have to... After doing this, I'm going to have to go out and actually get some more resources for my my good old bear. Um, so yeah, we're just slow. Oh, oh, I always forget. So I have like two epis two um, cockpits on either side to, to either pilot the drill or the welder. So a drill on one side, welder on the other side. This monstrosity you're looking at here is somewhat of a... Um, like a spawn ship little adaptation so as you can see it's it's quite a tunneling machine so I wanted to keep it very compact so the the drill radius um, the rest of the ship could sort of just like sneak through it so yeah this is a perfect tunneling drill ship and I'm also um, utilizing it as a welding ship as well I'm trying to get a good shot of this but see so yeah, I'm pretty much just building the shell of this thing of this new fighter that I'm building uh, all proprietary knowledge here you guys so we're gonna have to we're not going to show too much of the inside just because this is a PvP survival server and we do not want to give away too many trade secrets here. But I will tell you I am building up the frame of the fighter itself and then after that I'm going to actually have to go into the guts. Got a squirrely bear going on over here. What's going on good buddy? Oh no come on don't, don't be like that. So bear is working on a really impressive build here. He always goes so big in the beginning. I always see like just these giant freaking huge white frames just peeking out of the horizon. And it's usually one of bear ships. So oh my god. Who knows what this is going to be. We're not going to show too much of it because as you guys know this is going to be very um, a very well kept secret as to what goes on in the inside and the bowels of this ship for safety reasons. And what is bear doing up in here? He must be... Looks like he's working. He has a little bit of a conveyor system to get rid of all the stone. Uh, interesting, his stone ejector leads right to uh, his ship. So, that is interesting. An interesting concept there. Proof of concept. <laughs> so, you guys, uh, we are working on some stuff here. Uh, we got our new ship that I pretty much put this thing together in, I would say, about four or five hours. So, just, just the fact that I was able to do that in just a short amount of time and it being, like, actually quite a large ship... It's pretty cool, so the, the server is actually running very, very well. I can see a bear just flying around, doing stuff over there. So yeah, you guys, four to five hours, and I put this thing together. Um, so I, I'm i pretty sure I put a little bit of, like, uh, just the process of me building it in, like, either the intro or before this video, before this clip. He's going mad. But yeah, so pretty much what I did is I got the, I built the ship in creative, um, just projected it, and then pretty much just built like the shell of the ship. So pretty much the, the entire outside, just the outside shell of the ship, all in heavy armor with metal grids. And oh, he's always scaring me. I see things out of the corner of my eye. So yeah, I built the shell, um, all heavy armor, 
and some blast door blocks in a couple different places and then pretty much from there I turned the projector off and freestyled the inside of it. I, I, in the beginning I was going to actually try to build the whole projected um, ship but it was just too much. It was all right in my face here and it was just like it was hell trying to actually build the ship um, in the projected state. So I'm pretty much freestyling on the inside but the outside looks pretty impressive you guys. Um, it looks a little bit different from what I envisioned it because I had a couple mods that made uh, corners like less sharp. So the, this, the overall look looks a little bit different, but it still looks pretty good. Not bad. Uh, probably one of my better uh, survival ships. I build, uh, I, <laughs> I build really ugly ships, you guys. So if you look at my track record of almost 50 episodes of in survival, um, I've, I built some... <laughs> They're they're always functional, but they don't always look the best. So, you guys, we're awfully excited. We're gonna be getting some more resources. I pretty much just like pillaged uh, Bear's stockpile, uh, trying to build this thing. And actually, you know, it's a repair ship, so I had to you know stockpile a lot of uh, components to be able to repair itself. So I'm gonna have to repay Bear all of his all the stuff that was taken, or else he's gonna get real real mad. All right, guys. So I'll see you in one second. You've uh, you've got a uh, a nice uh, processing center over here. Yeah, that is 100% bare. I've been more focused on like the resource gathering and drill ships and building this fighter, but yeah, bear has done 100% of the production and uh, the refining reminds and me, stuff. Reminds me a lot of the uh, prior creations that we had. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean. <laughs> Once you got, you know, a person to fill each role in your squad, man, you're, you know, you're set. Oh, yeah. Looks like Bear's working on something over here. Heck yeah, man. Just say, uh... Looks I've, interesting. I've promised him not to film too much of the inside to keep it a trade secret. It looks it looks very, very interesting. Is this going to be like a... a yeah, this is going to be a ship. You're building the core out with the frame in the back. Hydro on the inside. Looks good, looks good. Alright, Bear. Bear, I need you to come over here and bless my ship before combat. Be prepared to take control once everything falls apart, Wilhelm. <laughs> <laughs> once everything... Well, I mean, you're one block over from me, buddy. I think if, or if you go down, I might be dead, too. <laughs> um, hey, can someone send me cords to uh, Thorium? Oh darn, I forgot to build another seat for Bear inside. I don't know if I can fit one, Bear. I'm sorry. Thank you, my man. Alright, I've got every missile turret. Action part for control. Sweet. Try to get a f uh, Yeah, try to get a feel for which one feels best. They're all like on the side and shit, so it kind of disorients you a little bit. What were you saying the other day, Bear? You're like... You said you found me on Facebook or some shit? <laughs> Dude, people have been finding me too somehow. I've been getting like messages and like, hey, is this you? And like linking like my exact Facebook and I'm like, what the fuck? Well, no one's no one's been able to do that. Bear thought he found me. It's like, oh, you're engaged to this one chick and doing all I'm like, nope, not me, man. <laughs> you're like you're like, good for me. Good for <laughs> me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like good for that guy, that's me. Yeah. Who's on? We have a Bal okay, Balky Bartikamos, Kamos, Bobby Draper, Brave Toaster, Bear, Highway Rob, BX Sota, Madoc. I remember Madoc. He's he's like oh he's like OG before us. Yeah, I do remember him. I think he's like O O G. We blew up one of his bases. Remember, bringing giant blinding flash of light. Okay. All right. Okay, I can dig it. All right. Wow, Thorium's... Don't tell me Thorium's in the app, though. Ooh. No, it doesn't look like it. It's close, though. Uh, we have... Captain, we're reporting major failure... Power failures. We are 96%. <laughs> 98 and claiming. Activate the batteries. Turn them on to semi-auto. That helped a tiny bit. <laughs> we are, we're in 90 though, you know, we're not overclocking it anymore. Feeling good about this, boys.
How close within? Should we scout it out first, or just go go in blazing? Uh, I don't I don't know. What, what, what you feeling? Uh, let's get us close. Have dare uh, bear disconnect and everything. Oh god damn it! Okay, so how about I jump? Hold on, we're in the Earth's gravity again. 90k. Because we are, where are we at? We're 114k, so that'll give us 20k distance. That's not that long. Yeah, but you gotta get out of it. Yeah. It's close, man. I wonder if it is in Earth's gravity. I don't know. It, it, it might be. It might be. I'm gonna burn a shit ton of hydro again. There we go. There we go. Deactivate hydros. Yes. We're activating the jump drives. We should be about a 20k ish. <laughs> Give or take 20k. Oh shit, we're right next to it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no. I, I specifically said it. To be a 90k. Oh my god. Okay, I'm back. Oh I'm backing god. up a little bit. Just be t I, I'm not seeing any anything on lidar. <laughs> Quick, bear, stick your thumb out the window. All right, bear is disconnected. Mine are disconnected. Beautiful. We should maintain cruising speed of probably 30 meters a second. Make it harder for rammers. Turn off the hack. Until we need it. Yeah. Let me look at that. Look at the center. We're 110 from the center, so we're nowhere near at though. Turrets are all on range. Beautiful, my co-pilot, man. Weapon systems are live. Bear, is that you flying outside of your ship? Oh shit, go back to Bear, he's being attacked. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh my oh, god. Shit. Bear has been, Bear has been fucked. Hydro ain't working. We're we're nowhere close enough. Get closer. Oh yeah, lot him up, baby. He's trying to dip below us. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. He's jumping out. He's jumping out. Cease fire. I'm still hitting him. He's gone. Shit. God damn Where's it. Bear? bear. What happens? He jumped in on bear somehow. I didn't get... God damn it. Let's see what the mighty bear is saying. Bear, I didn't get any of your shit on Steam. The overlay was working like fucking 10 minutes ago. Playing off. Fuck, Bear, I'm sorry, man. I didn't get any of your, any of your messages. Ah, well, that was fucked up. A lot of dams. Alright, let's, let's stick around a little bit. And see if we can... I think Bear's, Bear's flying back to Thorium and see you can check it out. Are we gonna patrol around here a little bit, or? I think uh, I think so. I mean, we want to avenge Bear's ship a little bit. I need to get Bear's fucking Steam overlay to work. I just threw it up on a second screen so I could watch. I think it was a small fighter. I think he's trying to get a look at us to see what the hell we're, he's dealing with. <laughs> I wonder who attacked us. It clearly wasn't Bobby Draper. <laughs> we fucked him up. 
Well, Mr. Will, thank you for your help, regardless. Of course. It was a blast to have a co-pilot. I mean, it's always fun to do that when you got two people in one ship doing stuff. Did you ever get to use uh, the turrets at all or shoot anything? Uh, I did. I was... I don't know if I hit the guy. Yeah. I, I'm not, I'll have to re-examine the, the footage. That was so, I, so hectic, man. Like, bear ship is, like, already being destroyed by the time I even realized, like, anything was happening. Yeah, it tells me that they've got people, uh... They've got, like, they've got ships or, like, small little, like, suits or whatever just chilling there. All right, well, that is it, my friends. That about wraps up the episode. So we had a little bit of a sour ending. Bear is a little mad at me. Um, so there was, you know, there's a couple different problems. We had some communication problems um, in combination with uh, a little bit of an ambush. So, yes, a very hectic episode. Um, definitely didn't go how I had planned. But, you know, regardless, it's good to be back. It's good to be back on one of my favorite servers that has ever been. This is Fountain Core. Once again, you guys, just the ultimate mix of a great player community, a great player base, as well as a really good admin, as well as just a bunch of game mechanics that make this just a unique server that just kind of sets us apart from many other servers that are available in the game today. So once again, you guys, this is Luke the Duke, and I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and good night, and good luck.